another one. DJ. I'm just kidding. It's time to react. Hola, bonitas. The Lombres. I am stuck and I chill. The welcome to stuck and the chill reactions. First of all, make sure you all go check out my latest videos. I, I reacted in 2002 to some new things. Come on, you don't need that condom. Take that off. <laughs> Make love to me. Stick it in. What do you mean I'm dry? I'm not dry. <laughs> so I will put the link up top. So just check it out. Check it out. And know this. It is not boring. If I am advocating it, it is not boring. You will not be bored. But anyway, let us get back to what we are here for. We are here to react to Tom McDonald. This one is entitled Hang On. We've hung on long enough, so it is time to kick back and relax. Yeah. It's time to react to Tom McDonald. Hang on. Hang on. Here it goes. They say keep hanging on, keep hanging on. Then to hold on to, to hold on to. I used to be strong, used to be strong. After all that I've gone through, all that I've gone. I don't feel like myself. I don't think I need help. People I talk to, people I talk to. Say keep hanging on, keep hanging on. I don't know if I want to. I thought it would be better when I'm older Celebrating birthdays with the devil on my shoulder He liked to drink together, but the minute I got sober He started saying things that I've had trouble getting over Now I'm just alone and I'm tired I got 20 feet of rope, but I got nowhere to tie it To climb out of this hole or pull myself any higher Cause I'm exhausted and my bones are heavy coated with iron Forged in a fire and molded with pliers I know that I'm supposed to be the one who's giving hope I'm a liar I tried to jump the motor and expose all the wires But all it did was make a spark It didn't power the tires It's like I'm standing on the edge and I'm scared I wonder if I slip and fall will anyone care I did my best to fix it but it can't be repaired And it ain't fair Okay The beat is The beat is not the beat, I guess the, the melody, the rhythm, that little sound, that little high pitch sound in the background is eerie. And then of course, Tom is, uh, has a noose around his neck and he's hanging, you know, and you know, and, and I'm not gonna say salivating, but he's just like straight letting it go, you know what I'm saying, slobbering at the mouth type deal, you know. And uh, yeah, so this one is kind of disturbing in that sense, You're like man. But of course, you know, Tom's making a statement, you know, and Tom does that well. He makes statements, so let's continue to, you know, let this unravel itself, unveil, and see the statement that is being made with this particular track. They say keep hanging on, keep hanging on, keep the hold on to, the hold on to. I used to be strong, used to be strong. After all that I've gone through, I don't feel like myself. I don't think I need help. People I talk to. I feel like I've been living on the dark side I know it's hard to tell but I've been going through a hard time I'm Fighting in a blindfold with my ankles and my arms tied I'm running out of places where the bruises and the scars hide Honestly I'm angry and exhausted I'm appalled at what the therapy and medicine have cost And I'm so tortured by the feelings that they told me they could cure I'm running out of options that's for sure I don't want the sympathy or sorries I'm not in it for the glory Being popular is boring I just wanna tell my story All that savvy is corny I'm gonna make it till I'm 40 With the way that I've been feeling I might go before the morning And when I leave I will not reappear No encore even if you stay to scream and cheer I just hope I help you see it clear now we're here. They say keep hanging on, keep hanging on. They keep the hold on to, the hold on to. I used to be strong, used to be strong. After all that I've gone through, all that I've gone. I don't feel like myself. I don't think I need help. People I talk to, people I talk to. Say keep hanging on, keep hanging on. I don't know if I want to.
Yeah. All right. Tom said, people I talk to keep saying, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on in there, buddy. Hang in there. Basically, things will get better. Hang in there. It'll get there. And he said, I don't know if I want to. Like, I'm just like, I'm tired. I'm done. You know what I mean? And um, we all get those feelings. You know, and I'm not every person in the world. So, you know, I can't, you know, say, you know, that, you know, tell everybody's personal story about this, you know. But, you know, we all get depressed, you know. We all get tired of things, you know, because, you know, life is just that way. You know, maybe there's, you know, some people out there that um, life doesn't, you know, touch in a bad way, you know. And, you know, they just think everything's huggy-dory all the time, you know, 24-7 for them. You know, and but who are, who are those people? You know, maybe they have a real strong family structure. You know, um, lots of support. You know, people who love them. But you know, we also know that people who have that also in their lives. You know, like <clears throat> so. You know, when people get to the end of their rope and they're feeling like they just don't want to anymore. You know, it's it's that's real tough. That's hard. How do you deal with that? Like in all honesty. And then you know, you have to applaud Tom for even trying. Especially if he went through it himself and then now he's trying to help others, you know, by, you know, basically telling his story and his feelings, the way he felt on things, you know, and I've noticed that, you know, when I've talked to people, when I've literally talked to people that were like at the end of their rope, you know, there's, you know, it, it, it's a very, 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 you know, small amount of things, you know, that you can say to them to really touch them, to get to them, you know, to make them actually, you know, have a zest for life and want to live, you know. And, you know, I've said this before, you know, I don't think I've ever, like, uh, considered, like, suicide, suicide. Never. And I don't think I ever will. You know, I've had some tough times in my life when I was like, maybe this is why people commit suicide, you know what I mean? Because, you know, well, sometimes life gets hard, you know, you know, and you have to struggle, and you know, and uh, you know, people. Sometimes people are tired of struggling; they just don't want to struggle anymore. You know what I mean? And I understand that completely. But you know, for me, I refuse to give up. Um, and I'm gonna tell you this: this is this is a true story. There was an older lady, and she was an old lady. Her name was Dot. And. You know, Dot would always talk to me, you know, and she'd tell me things, you know, and one day she told me, she said, people say that things will get better, but they won't. And I was like, wow. Wow, Dot. Thank you for, like, raining on my parade about, oh, things will get better with time and all that. You know, she said they won't. But what I took from that and what you should take from that, what I took from that, what you should take from that is... <clears throat> if you just let it be, if you just let life be and hope things will get better, there's no guarantee, there's no guarantee that that will happen. So, your alternative is to do it yourself. Don't just sit back and let life happen. Go out there and make your life happen. Make what you want in your life happen. Like, if you say you want to be a, I want to be a star or whatever, yeah, well, don't, you know, sit back and wait for somebody to come and discover you how about you go ahead and start doing some auditions how about you take some acting classes or whatever type of star you're trying to be how about you go ahead and pursue that you know and if you're not successful you know then you're not successful but at least you try baby at least you tried you know what i mean and you know i think if you keep it up and you know you really you know work your craft and all that that you can do it i believe this in you like i believe it about me like, you know, some people tell me, you know, well, don't move to California, don't move to L.A. because it's, you know, you can't afford it. And I'm like, everyone who lives there can afford it. You know, I believe in me enough to, you know, I believe in me, I can move there. Don't move to Las Vegas, you can't afford it. Well, I have family that live in California, I have family that live in Vegas, they can afford it. And, you know, like, <laughs> just like basically don't let nobody tell you what you can't do you have to believe in you you know what i mean and and more on the whole you know dot telling me you know <clears throat> things don't get better you know like i said what i took from that is that you should do it yourself you know instead of you know 
don't sit around and complain about life and how bad it's treating you and this and that and that, you know like like Eminem said you know it, you know you kick life in the ass basically kick it in the ass if you have to kick yourself in the ass <clears throat> to <clears throat> get your ass out there and take care of business go take care of it you do it go handle it whatever you need like if you're struggling already might as well you struggle as opposed to your struggle being you just sitting there struggling being depressed and not having you know what you want out of life how about your new struggle be trying to make it happen <clears throat> because you're probably getting A's and no's and all that you know and turned down or whatever and not reach the success that you want right away but if you're gonna have some letdowns in life why not let your struggle to the top because if you <clears throat> if you paid attention to celebrities and successful people a lot of them say you get a lot more nose and you know you, you get a lot more struggles and you know and barriers and things that are in your way on your way to the top than you may think like you know there's like one or two opportunities that just like shoot you in the direction that you want to go but you know for the mass majority you know you're going to get those nays those no's and you know and letdowns but anyway in my uh, experience I look forward to the things that I have to look forward to in life and that keeps my zest for life going so like like a small thing I look forward some time to making these videos and I, you know and it's just like because you know I can connect with you all you know and it's just you know it, it's just organic it's a beautiful thing because I don't know when I'm gonna do these videos I don't know what video I'm gonna do and all that sometime I do you know request and all that but it's just like organic like hey and it happens next thing you know here I am and here we are and this is what it is but anyway it's enough for me you know to keep Keep a little zest for life going, you know what I mean? And I would like for you to do the same thing. In all honesty, that's what I want for you. To keep a zest for life. And live. But anyway, I hope y'all like it. I hope y'all like the vibe. If so, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Come on back so we can chop it up. Kick it. But do take care of yourselves. I'm going to holla at you next time. Stack and chill reactions. Because we out, baby. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding.